And hey guys, welcome back to the channel, back with the Midwest Express. It is Wednesday, a slow day here in Madison, Wisconsin. I have gotten a couple of gut punches this week. It started off, started the week off great. One of my first passengers this week ended up being Tommy Hamilton, the, the bass player for the band Aerosmith, you know? And it was a cool conversation. I had a nice, long, like, 95-minute ride with him, and it was interesting. Highlight of my week. And then certain things started to arise. My insurance, my insurance rates... I used to pay $800 for two vehicles for full coverage. It is now over $1,300 to renew my six-month policy. And that, I was like, oh, I got to find something cheaper. And I went online. And all these places for good insurance is expensive. Like, Jesus Louise. Like, so that kind of set the table for some bad news for me. And then I go to the airport to pick up a roadie order and the Delta Airlines representative informs me that the city or the airport here in my city of Madison is going away from using roadie. And that, I was like, what? <laughs> She's like, yeah, we're going with a logistics company that's going to come through and just pick up all the bags and we're not going to do independent deliveries anymore. And I was just like, oh. So that was kind of a gut punch because typically I would say I do eight to 12 bags a week and it averages out to about $100, $120 a week just for Delta Airlines for me every week. So it's been a good gap filler. And if you average it out, it's like $5,000 extra a year I've been making just doing baggage delivery from Delta on the side just every once in a while. And that is hard. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> but I have to continue to diversify. I have to continue to keep looking at other options. And, you know, I there's so much happening in the news. All these deactivations from Walmart Spark that are killing drivers. Uh, out in L.A., Grubhub is getting sued by the county of Los Angeles because they're saying that they do... Uh, unscrupulous business practices. So they will say free delivery, and then you find out there's a delivery fee or a service charge, which isn't a delivery fee, but just different ways that Grubhub's been trying to do workarounds, and now they're getting sued by the county. <laughs> so that's never good for business. And then up in Minneapolis still, there's still all this talk going on. Their city council's getting ready to meet. And it's all about this Uber Lyft ride share. And Uber's come out and said, hey, we're leaving Minneapolis. If you try to put any kind of set rates on what we're going to pay drivers and whatnot. So it's it's just so much drama with all these gig apps. And they're all playing a shell game. I had one passenger the other day. He said, you know, hey, John, I heard that you guys are making less now. And I was like, yeah, well, before I used to get a flat rate of 87 cents a mile plus tips for just an Uber X ride. Now they're going as low as 66 cents a mile and they're getting away with it because before they wouldn't tell you where you were going, they would just pay you. Now they won't pay you, but they'll tell you where you're going. <laughs> and then you have to weigh out the decision. They're like, yeah, you get paid 66 cents a mile. Take it or leave it. What do you want? That's it. That's all we're giving you. And the problem is the market's so oversaturated that there's drivers that take it. And the prices around here hardly never surge anymore. It is, it's, it's a tough grind. <laughs> it's a tough hustle, but we're sticking with it. I hope you guys are doing well today. The temperatures here in Wisconsin have been so dramatic. Monday, it was in the fit or low 50s. I was like, oh, this is nice. Yesterday, on Tuesday, it was in the 70s. Today, it's at 12 degrees and single digits with the wind chill. <laughs> so, like, they're saying it's the largest temperature swing in history in Wisconsin. So, I mean, it's it's the end of February. 
We should be in snow. We're not. The, all the snow is done and melted. We should be... An average temperature at this time of the year, I would say, would probably be in the 20s. You know, it should be in the 20s through February and March. And then April, it warms up. And But the problem is, like, that heat wave we got yesterday, the 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 birds, the trees, the plants, nobody knows what the hell's going on. So these trees are going to start thawing out and they're going to bud. And then we get deep freezes like this and it's going to kill off the growth. And it's, it's just, it's a hot mess. Mother Nature is messing with us. <laughs> and then on top of that, I'm watching the stock market today. Bitcoin's going through the roof. And whenever I see Bitcoin going through the roof, that always tells me that the economy's getting ready for some bad news. <laughs> Tomorrow the inflation numbers come out, and a lot of people are betting that the inflation numbers are going to be bad. And when the economy starts to go to shit, and the inflation numbers go bad, what do people want to do? The value of the dollar goes down. They want to hide their money somewhere else. Let's hide it in Bitcoin. Because we're looking for something that holds its value when things hit the fan. And the big out outside are property, Bitcoin, gold, and silver. <laughs> and then all those other coins and whatever else that people are invested in that I couldn't tell you anything about because I know nothing about any of that stuff. So, but hopefully the inflation numbers are too much of a kick in the butt tomorrow. We shall see. But what I'm seeing, the economy's not getting better. So hopefully I'm wrong. So like, subscribe. We'll hit you on the next one, guys.